Hello, so I'm just going to show you how to process a refund in Resgo. So first of all, you'll see we're on our bookings page. So this customer here has two different bookings. See, there's two different ID numbers, but on the same order. So an order is like their shopping cart or their basket. So uh, if they're on the website front end, they'll be able to add multiple tours to one order under one customer name. Or you can also do this in the point of sale. And if you're unfamiliar with the point of sale, we do have a video going over that. But in this one, we're just going to talk about refunds. So if you click on the booking here, you're on the this particular bookings page. So if you scroll down, you can see that it, there's no refund button. So it might be a little bit uh, difficult to figure out where, where is that, right? So if we go up, I just want to point out this order button. So this button will show you all of your tours or all of the bookings on one order. So it's important that we want to click on this to see the entire order view. So we have a customer name at the top and we have both of our bookings. We have the dates, the name and the booking numbers. So in this particular case, we added a transaction or charged the credit card on the order level. So that's why you'll see a refund button here. So any uh, website booking uh, or front end booking that your customer makes, that will always show the refund on the order level. Any instance where you would see refund on the bookings page would be, for example, in the point of sale, if you or one of your agents took the payment on the bookings page. So again, the bookings page is if you click on a booking here and added a transaction. So if you're ever unsure and you're trying to process a refund, you don't see a refund option on the bookings page, always click on this order and, and it should be there. So here we can always set the order status. So when we mark this as received, it's confirmed, we click set order status. In this case, we need to cancel our bookings. So if you wanted to set the order status and you wanted to cancel both bookings, you can cancel them right here. If you want just to cancel one booking, we'll click on the booking number itself. Here's set status and you can cancel it there as well. Okay. Now in this case, I'll show you how to do a refund. We're going to again, click go all the way down and click on refund. Make sure you got your method as credit card. We've got our payment gateway and our payment gateway has refund support. We've selected refund and the amount. So if you only want to do a partial refund, you can change this amount. If you'd only canceled one of the bookings on the order, you could refund that amount as well. Okay. So in this case, we are just going to refund it. So we'll just click enter and we're done. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to talk to us on support or customer success.